to another big story this morning. The search for an arsonist in Fort Pierce is now in its third day. Even after putting out images of the guy they say did it, deputies have received only a few tips. News Channel 5's Andrew Ruiz is joining us now live from the Islamic Center in Fort Pierce with the message the sheriff's office has for everyone. Andrew? Roxanne, hello. We have a new update from the sheriff's office. They say that overnight they've received additional tips, only had receiving eight before, but now they are following up on those leads. But again, they need more interest in this to be able to put the guy responsible behind bars. Over the fence, you are now getting a first hand look at exactly the damage that was caused by that blaze Sunday night. They want you to see what we've been showing you the last few days, again, to drum up some additional tips. People from the mosque say they are going to try to rebuild. The Council on American Islamic Relations says they've already gotten several calls from people in the community offering their help and services. Tuesday, people were seen dropping off flowers and showing signs of support. Included was Doug, who held up a sign that read, I agree with Jesus, love your neighbor as yourself. So I'm here to promote peace. Holding a sign, I don't do this. This is not something I do. I am a general contractor. I build buildings. I just got angry enough to say at 4 o'clock, I pushed up my computer down, made a sign, and drove out here. I don't know. Now, Moss members say some people started getting nasty with them after many learned that Pulse nightclub shooter Omar Mateen worshipped here. The sheriff's office says that regardless of the opinion that you have about the mosque or the people who worship here, someone committed a crime Sunday night and they need to be brought to justice. If you have any information, make sure to call Crime Stoppers. Live in Fort Pierce, Andrew Ruiz, WPTV News Channel 5.